These are the best settings in Madden 25. In your main menu, you're going to tab over to the Edit Settings option. And what you're going to do here is your favorite team, best team in Madden 25, is going to be the Jets. You could say the Chiefs, but the Jets provide a lot more options and are a lot more balanced as an overall team. The best offensive playbook in the game is either the Chicago Bears or the Indianapolis Colts, unless you want to run kind of a little bit more multiple offense, which is Green Bay. But right now, I am in Chicago. If you want to get my full Chicago ebook, it's going to be available in our school community. Carolina defensive playbook, pretty much the standard at this point uh, because it has 2 4 double mug, penny, 1 4 6, 6 1, a lot of really good formations. And if you want to get my defensive ebook on this, it's also on our school community. Cool part about that community is you get everything for 10 bucks. So you get all the offensive ebooks, all the defensive ebooks, everything for Madden, everything for college for just 10 bucks. For skill level, all Madden, game style competitive. Real important for clock management if you're going to lab in head-to-head -head regs, turn this on 15 minutes. The reason why is because if you want to know a play now game to kind of practice blitzes and stuff, this is going to make the game super long so you don't have to go back out and go back in. Just a small little thing. Coin toss first choice is probably the most important thing I could tell you to get instantly better at Madden. You will win more games when you get this right. Coin toss first choice kick every single time. Do not ever put this on receive. Coin toss, second choice with win. This allows you to use halftime as essentially a way to get an automatic defensive stop. If you manage the end of half scenarios well, it is a way to strategically get a stop without actually having to get a stop. Obviously, defense being very difficult in this year's game. Kick meter style, classic Madden meter. A lot of people have tried uh, some of these, this multimeter and not really good reviews whatsoever. So classic Madden meter are, is probably the best. For control scheme, tap and tap seems to be the standard and the best. Tap and hold really is not effective, especially for classic Madden meter. Passing type. Pretty much unanimously here, placement and accuracy. Passing slowdown off. Pass lead increase is going to be on none. This is a significant new feature to passing in this year's game. You can put this on large, medium, small, or none. I really love this feature because when you put it on none, it really significantly reduces the overthrows that we were seeing back in Madden 24. Radical speed, 20 out of 20. You could go as low as 3 out of 20 if you're maybe a little bit more beginner. or You could just try these out. These are kind of some of the universally agreed upon best radical speeds. I personally like 20 out of 20, but 3 out of 20, 7 out of 20, and then this one, 15 out of 20 or 20 out of 20. Those are pretty much unanimously agreed upon the best rate radical speeds, and personally, I would use 20 out of 20, especially if you're putting this on none. Okay, Radical visibility, this is not really doesn't really matter because it's not really going to be used in a game. Hit, hit stick quality feedback, um, I, I, you can turn this off. It's fine, honestly. I don't think it matters either way. Gameplay helpers. Auto flip defense play call on unless your specific defense requires this to be off, but I would change this within the coaching adjustments menu. I wouldn't change it in this menu. Defensive ball hawk, turn this on. Defensive heat seeker assist, turn this on. Heat seeker window size. I haven't really experimented a ton with lowering this percentage. So as of right now, just leaving it on 100%. Switch assist, make sure this is off. Make sure this is off because if you want to switch stick in this game and you have switch assist on, it almost like freezes you. You want to turn this off. It's going to give you the most amount of user control possible. Those are the best settings in Madden 25.